Today, I went to the sea to do stand-up paddleboarding. It was a good weather, no wind, so it's very, very calm water. So beautiful. So I started after took up pictures and made a short video. I paddled along the shoreline. I found out a big fish which swam along the shoreline. A squirrel fish swam together slowly. When I follow them, they swim away, away. They swam away. I paddled. Keep paddling. I saw two seagulls. Seagulls swimming on the sh water. They seemed young seagulls. Young seagulls. They seemed young seagulls. They seemed birds, seagulls. And then I paddled close to them. They slowly swam with the yellow legs. I saw them swimming. I follow them closely. I reached them about six meters. It's very close. Even I could see yellow legs moving under the sea to swim away from me. In the end, they flew away over the seaside. I paddled near the coastal area. I could see the lock under the sea. I directly paddled to the right house on the port. The lighthouse color is red. I saw the buoyant, which marked for the fishing net. When I reached the buoyant, I saw a seagull flew over the water. I saw Korean dolphin. It was a young dolphin. Interestingly, the young dolphin swim toward me. I picked up my mobile phone, started taking video and then I shouted with a voice a small dolphin, Korean dolphin came out on the water every six seconds 
moving toward uh, five meter or six meter. And then I followed the young dolphins. After filming, I started paddling with two hands. I followed the young Korean dolphin. The Korean dolphin was uh, dark gray. There was no pin on the back. Only they have a tail like a mermaid or like a whale. And also the Korean dolphin head Also, Korean dolphin head is big, look like a baby and who has a big head and small body. As same as a human and the baby, the young Korean dolphin head is big and body is small and tail is uh, big, wide. When I followed the, the Korean dolphin closely, and suddenly the Korean dolphin turned to me and then soon disappeared. But it floating and swimming, rounding, looking at me. It's unique experience to do see I see uh, the young Korean dolphin swimming, looking at me. I think the dolphin could see me even in the water because um, their eyes might, uh, vision will be good. And also the water is very clean. And this time is a low tide season. The water is very, very calm and clean. So I could see the Korean dolphin uh, swim uh, in the water very, very near the surface. It's very cute. And it was amazing to see the Korean dolphin swim uh, very close to me. The Korean dolphin swim uh, circling with me. Uh, on standard paddleboard, and then uh, it started to swim away. And I followed um, about a few hundred meters, and then uh, the Korean dolphin disappeared and uh, appear again. So I'm uh, a little bit tired, and then. I stopped following the Korean dolphin. Uh, without paddling to the right house because I was tired, I came back to my shop. Today, it was a good memory with the Korean dolphin. And here is, I say the Korean dolphin Actually, the Korean dolphin is a Popeyes. Its uh, English name is Popeyes, and also its Korean name is Sangyeongi. But uh, the pronunciation or recorded not good. So simply, when I say Korean dolphin, it clearly uh, typed uh, with a voice typing. That is. Uh, reason why I call the Popeyes at the Korean Dolphin. The end.
Today I want to see to stand up paddle rolling. The weather was good, not windy, so the water was very calm and beautiful. I took some picture and made a short video. As I paddled along the shoreline, I spot a big fish swimming along with the shoreline slowly. When I followed them, they swam away. I kept paddling and saw two seagulls swimming on the water. They seemed young, like singers. When I got closer, I noticed they had a yellow leg. I followed them closely, getting within about six meters. Even on the water, I could see their yellow legs moving as they swam away from me. Eventually, they flew away over the seaside. As I paddled near the coastal area, I crossed the log on the water. I paddled toward the lighthouse on the car. And the uh, lighthouse uh, was red and marked the fishing net. When I reached it, I saw I saw a blue seagull over the white blue seagull. Then I saw a Korean dolphin. It was a young dolphin and interesting me. It swam towards me. I quickly picked up my mobile phone and started taking video. I shouted with excitement as the small Korean dolphin surfaced every six seconds. Moving toward me at about five or six meters, I followed the young dolphin, filming as I paddled with both hands. The Korean dolphin had a big head and a small body like a baby. Its tail was a big and white. When I followed it closely, the dolphin suddenly turned toward me, then disappeared. But it kept circling along looking at me. It was a unique experience to see the young Korean dolphin swimming and looking at me. I think the dolphin could see me even underwater because the eyesight might be good and the water was very clean. It was low tide, so the water was very calm and clean. I could see the Korean dolphin swimming very near to me. It was very cute and amazing to see the Korean dolphin swim so close to me. The Korean do dolphin seems to be so clean uh, with me the my standard parable. After following it for a few hundred meters, the current dolphin disappeared and the reappeared again. I got a little tired, so I stopped following it and uh, paddled back to the shore. Today was a good memory with the current dolphin. By the way, the current dolphin is actually a porpoise. Its English name is porpoise, and it's also called Engi. Um, but the pronunciation isn't good, so I simply call it the Korean dolphin because it's clear. And they were using voice typing. That's why I call it the Korean Dolphin. The end. Overall, great job capturing your experience with Korean Dolphin. Okay.